Hello dear students. Today uh, I have taken one question from NCRT that is question number 17 of chapter gravitation physics and uh, <coughs> we'll see this question is a little bit different type of question. Let us first read it and then try to solve it. Right? So a stone is allowed to fall from a top of a tower 100 meter high. So I'll just underline what is given 100 meter high and at the same time another stone is projected vertically upwards from the ground with a velocity of 25 meter per second. Calculate when and where the two stones will meet. Right. So two motions, two linear motion we have to consider. So first thing what is that is we have a stone, no, sorry we have a tower of which is height of the tower is 100 meter. The height of the tower is 100 meter. It is given to us. Right? This is given to us. Now, next thing. A stone is allowed to fall. Means we are allowing a stone to fall. This is stone 1. We are allowing a stone to fall from a height 100 meter. Right? Now, at the same time, another stone is projected vertically upwards. Now, from this point, from the earth or the ground, we are projecting another stone. There is another stone and that is your stone 2. We can take it as stone 2. And we are projecting it upwards. Right? From the ground with a velocity of 25 meter per second. The initial velocity for this is 25 meter per second. Right? Calculate when. When means time. Where. Where means distance. Calculate when and where the two stones will meet. Now, so I assume that suppose it comes down here. It comes down. Right. And this stone is moving up. This stone is moving up. And they meet at this particular point. Right. So I assume that this distance. Let this distance be x. Ye jo distance hai, ye, I assume it as x meters. Then tell me if this is x, this is 100, then this distance will be 100 minus x. Simple. Right? So what I am assuming? I assuming let the two stones, let the two stones meet after t seconds seconds and at a point say I can say A at a point A at a point A from a distance uh, from at a point A which is at a distance which is at a distance this point A is at a distance x meters from the ground x meters from the ground now how we are going to solve it? I hope the question is clear. Again I repeat. One stone I am dropping from a height 100 meter. Another stone is being projected vertically upwards. Right? And these two are done at the same time. Simultaneously. Of course they, this will fall down. This will go up. So they will meet at particular point. So you will have to find out what what time they are going to meet after how many seconds or how many minutes they are going to meet and then at what distance they will meet this point is where at how much distance you are these two stones are going to meet so we are going to solve this for this thing you have two things no stone one and stone two so i'll take separately and write the equations of motion for the two stones separately so I'll start with stone 1, right? So stone 1. If you have seen the previous video which was sent earlier, I have explained to you when we take the initial velocity 0, when we take g positive, when we take g negative. So now we just see we are dropping an object from a certain height, right? So we are dropping it then in that case for stone 1, Tell me what will be the initial velocity? Yes, it will be 0. Okay, now stone is coming down, right? So what will be the value of acceleration due to gravity? It will be 
plus 9.8 meter per second square. Correct? And what is the distance traveled before it meets the other stone? Uh, other stone right? So that distance we have taken as 100 minus x for stone 1. So distance traveled will be 100 minus x. Right? Now I will use equation of motion using S is equal to ut plus half a t square. You can use g also. It explained to you. So what is this distance S? S is 100 minus x. U is 0. So this term will become 0. What is left? Half. And it is positive. So no tension of sign. Half of 9.8 t square. This can be written as 100 minus x is equal to 4, 2 means 2 4 is 8, 2 9 is 8, 4.9 t square. This equation I call it as equation number 1. Children, there are two variables x and t. I cannot solve it using 1. For two variables, we need two equations. So now what I am going to do? I am going to write for stone 2. So for stone 2, when I am writing, for stone 2, stone 2 is 1 which is projected from the ground vertically upwards. So for that, we have been given the velocity is 25 meter per second. So initial velocity is 25 meter per second given. Next, what is the value of acceleration or g? So it is moving against gravity. So we will take the sign as minus 9.8 meter per second square. And what about the distance? Distance for this stone, I have taken distance as let it be x. So distance I am taking going to take it as x. So using the same equation, using s is equal to ut plus half g t square i when i will substitute i will get s s is what s is x okay i'll write it here x is equal to what is u u is 25 so 25 t plus half half of g now g here will be minus 9.8 into t square so what can we write we can write x is equal to 25t half again 4.9 but this time it will be negative. So minus 4.9t square this I call it as equation number 2. Now I have two equations and two variables. Now I have to solve these two equations and get the value of x. x means when t sorry x t means when and x means where according to the question so let me solve it so what i am going to do to solve this i am adding so this is the solving part so solving part is 1 plus 2 do you know to add two equations so i will add look here 100 minus x is equal to 4.9 t square equation number 1 other equation is x is equal to 25t minus 4.9t square. So how I am going to add? When I add this, when I add this, means left hand side separately and right hand side. Right? Left hand side and right hand side. So this will be 100 minus x of equation 1 plus x of equation 2 is equal to 4.9t square of equation 1 plus 25t minus 4.9t square of equation 2. So can you see that this plus x and minus x will get cancelled. Minus 4.9t square plus 4.9t square. So what are we left with? We are left with 100 is equal to 25t. Can you get the value of t? Yes, it is very easy. 25 fours are. So this will give you t is equal to 4. t will be equal to 4 seconds. So time is 4 seconds. So when we have found out, means they, the two stones will meet after 4 seconds. But where they will meet? Again I have to solve. Now I get the value of t. 
I have got the value. I can substitute in any of the equations to get the value of x. So I will use equation 1 only. I am using equation 1. So using equation 1, using equation 1, I get 100 minus x. x I have to find out. So 100 minus x is equal to 4.9 into t square. t is what? 4. So t square will be 4 square. So what is 4 square? 4 square is 16. So this will be 100 minus x is equal to 4.9 into 16. Can we multiply these two? So we will multiply it quickly. 4.9 into 16. 16. 6 9s are 54. 5 carry. 6 4s are 24. 25, 26, 27, 28. 29 in 49. So this is 4, 8, 7. So this is 78.4. So 100 minus x is equal to 78.4. So can you tell me the value of x now? Simple. So x will be x will be 100 minus 78.4. So can we subtract 100? Uh, subtract 78.4. So we get 10691. This will be 9921.6. So x is equal to 21.6 meters. So can we conclude the answer? Yes, we can conclude the answer like this. The two stones which are dropped, one is dropped and one is thrown vertically upwards. They are going to meet after 4 seconds and they will meet at a distance of 21.6 meters from the ground. Why from the ground? Because x is we have measured from ground. And if, if I change the question, I ask from the top, what is the distance? So from top, how will you calculate? 100 minus 21.6. So the stone will meet after 4 seconds and at a distance of 21.6 meters from the ground. I hope this question is clear to you all.